Welcome to iLector Online. In this video, as well as a few to come, we're going to graph some equations, some quadratic equations, and they're going to be in different formats. So from looking at the format, we should be able to very quickly decide and determine how to graph these four examples. When we go to our first one up here, notice there's no negative sign. If it's positive in front, that means it opens upward. There's no constant at the back, so it's not raised up or down but we do have an x minus 1 and minus 1 means that it's shifted to the right by 1. So that means that the vertex will be on the x-axis, a distance 1 to the right, and the parabola will open upward so it will look like this. Over here notice that we have a negative sign in front which means the parabola opens downward. We have a shift to the left of 2 and we don't have a shift up or down because there's no constant. So 1, 2, that's minus 2. The vertex is right on the x-axis. It opens downward, so the parabola will look something like this. Going to our third example, notice we have again a negative in front. That means the parabola opens downward. We have a shift to the right of 6, and we don't have a constant, so it's not shifted up or down. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The vertex will be right on the x-axis. The parabola will open downward. So it will look like this. And finally, our final example. Notice again we have a negative in front, which means it opens downward. We don't have a constant, so it's not shifted up or down. We have a plus 1 here. That means it's shifted to the left by 1. But now we also have a 2 there in front, which means that the value for y will grow twice as fast, so the parabola will be skinnier. The vertex will still be on the x-axis, but now we have a very skinny parabola because y will grow in magnitude much faster, twice as fast as normal. And so that is how you quickly grow, the, uh, not grow, that's how you quickly graph these four examples by simply looking at the shift, looking at the plus or minus sign in front, and see if it's a constant, which then would, of course, move it up or down if there was one. And that is how it's done. Nice and quick.